Okay, guys. <clears throat> There's the first bad ending for the game. <sighs> the window in the room is wide open. Trying to escape, huh? I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom, too? It's your fault that Nanako Chun's... I... I didn't... I... Oh, there it is again. Is it the Midnight Channel? Keep in mind, yes, I do know, um, that I am doing the bad choices to get the bad endings on purpose. Hey, isn't this? If you guys are seeing this for the first time, I do have a whole playthrough of the Persona 4 Golden that just ended just yesterday, or well, obviously today. This is the day after I recorded the whole thing. So check that out if this is your first time seeing one of my videos. I failed to save her. It's, it's because, because you got, got in my, my way. way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No, come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. We can. What? Is that what Namatami's really thinking? Then... He wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law! I will never forgive what you did! This... please... stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Or do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you? Kanji... <sighs> do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? I don't care either way. Living or dying... Makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. And off it goes. Mission? My God. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I... I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? That's... but... The girls are more reasonable here. And the guys. What? What's gotten into you I mean, guys? except, you know, Naoto. This is crazy! How can we do something like that? Chie! Everyone, listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how <sighs> many innocent people will die this time? This decision is gonna weigh rough on me, but... I can't let something like that go. Someone for the content to me died her killer can't be convicted and now i'm gonna let the same thing happen again there's no way i can do that it's just wrong isn't it but but yosuke all we have to do is push him inside the tv that's it we do that one thing and this is all over J just p push him inside if any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. 
I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. <sighs> but before we do this, I want to hear what you think. What do you want to do, leader? Ah, uh, push the bastard in. Yeah. We'll end this here and now. Ah. Uh. Wait a second. Do you really understand what you're about to do? It's the exact same thing Namatame's been doing. I hate the guy too, but you really want to go that far? Is getting revenge the right thing to do? But if we don't do anything, he might... I... I don't know anymore. Are you sure about this? Do it already. You really mean it? There's no other way? Ah, uh, this is weighing so heavy. What about you guys? Remember, there's no need to stay if you don't want to. I'll stay. Me too. I won't be the only one to walk out on this. I'd only suffer more that way. If this is what we've decided, I'll stick with it to the end. Me too. No matter how we end it, I want to witness it. Come here, Namatami. The other world that caused all this to happen will surely take care of the rest. The case will be closed by the shadow that will appear from Namatami. With this, everything has come to an end. We should go back to Nanako. Oh. Nanako-chan. We avenged you, Nanako-chan. But I guess you wouldn't be too happy about that. You're such a kind girl. Hey, where's Teddy? Did he go home? Oh, she doesn't come back because of that? Oh... Teddy has disappeared, leaving a note behind. I'm going back to my own world. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. Everyone avoided talking about the case and waited for the severe winter to end. And so, time passed. <sighs> and we lose Nanako, wow. Whoa. We're going immediately to the day of depart. Yes, we are. Wow. And obviously with the fog. Uh, spring has come once again to Inaba. Dojima residence. Oh, Dojima. <sighs> and now, a story on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Police have released the identity of the suspect, who was confirmed dead after escaping the hospital, as Taro Namatame. Ruling his death a suicide, the police have closed their investigation. However, police have yet to announce the cause of death for either the victims or the suspect himself. Several criminologists have raised questions over how his alleged crimes were committed. It seems that though this case has come to an official end, many of its mysteries will remain forever unsolved. Oh. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog forecast, jeez. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Hopefully. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. But we know that's not the case. If you have travel plans, please be mindful of visibility conditions. It's almost time for your train. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Starting tomorrow, I'll be all by myself in this house. It's gonna be lonely. Dojima. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. I will. 
Hey. Ja. If, hm. if there was evil in the world that had to be dealt with, but no one would step up to see justice done, it might fall to the closest person at hand to bear the burden of punishing them. Well, you know. Don't you think? Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so. Huh. Well, we should get going. Your friends are probably waiting at the station. So he knows. Come on. Ah. <sighs> hey. Thanks. <sighs> he knows. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. You really are leaving us. You know, it was overdue quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit, won't you? <laughs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. <sighs> that is rough. Oh, I don't like this ending, obviously. And leave them with the fog. What do you want to do, leader? Okay, here's the next one. Supposedly I need to say I can't stay here. What? Are you saying you forgive this bastard? I thought you'd feel the same way we do, Senpai. You're gonna let this go? Did you see what happened to Nanako-chan? Jeez, guys, calm down. Look, just think about this. Are you sure about that? <sighs> Don't do this. Thank goodness. I knew you'd say so. How the hell can you be so half-assed about this? Are you okay with what this bastard did? Of course we're not! But can you look me in the eye and say you're okay with doing the same thing this guy did? Mm -hmm. It's just like how you feel right <clears throat> now. That you can't turn your back and do nothing. We're not going to sit back and watch while our friend becomes a murderer, you moron! To kill someone because they killed someone first. I can't decide on something that serious. But, but still... If you have it in you to be this angry for someone who is close to you, then you mustn't kill. That's something you can never take back. Mm -hmm. So we leave it to the cops? You trust them to handle it? Even if we can't trust them, from here on is no longer our battle. It's Tojima-san and his fellow officers fight to convict the suspect. Is that what you're trying to say? <sighs> I'm proud that I can protect this town with you all. That's why I don't want to make this terrible situation even worse by doing something like this. I agree. Oops. I want to keep going to school with you all and make more memories with my friends. I don't want one of those memories to be of us killing someone. So what if there's another crime? We can still save people like we always have. Nothing has happened yet. Then why assume that our future will be filled with misfortune? Nothing's <laughs> happened yet. Our future hasn't been decided. All right. Let's go back to Nanako-chan's room. Let's go. I wonder what kind of ending this was going to be. Oh. There they are. My God, she's alive. Nanako-chan came around. So the only time she dies is if we kill him. Huh? What did you just say? That's so good. Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? 
It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... <laughs> oh my god! I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! They're basically Miracles the same lines. Happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. This is the same this time around, right? You're right. That's weird. I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Well, we know what happened to Teddy. Afterwards, you found a note that left that Teddy left behind. I'm going back to my own world. Oh, it's still gonna be the same. It's not easy to live there now, but it's my reality. I'm really, really thankful for everything all of you did for me. Well, goodbye. Everyone avoided talking about the case and waited for the severe winter to end. And so, time passed. Going back to March 21st or 20th, 21st. All right. Did the same thing. Spring has once again come to Inaba. Ojima residence. And now, a story on the serial kidnapping and murder case that shook the town of Inaba. Defendant Taro Namatame has confessed to committing the multiple kidnappings that previously seemed irrelevant. However, he continues to flatly deny his involvement in the first two murders. Namatame also maintains his strange insistence that he, quote, placed them inside the TV to save them. With so much unknown regarding his motives and methods, many are hoping his trial will shed some light on these mysteries. Up next is our fog forecast for today. Fog is still covering the town, but it should soften somewhat this week with the coming of spring. Today and tomorrow, we'll see fairly light amounts of fog as usual. Saturation from then on is still to be determined. If you have travel plans, Please be mindful of visibility conditions. All right. It's almost time for your train. You ready to go? Yes, sir. Too bad Nanako couldn't leave the hospital in time to say goodbye. A little more time and maybe she could have come outside. Oh, she's really sick in this one. Feel free to come visit any time, okay? And say hi to your parents for me. We will. There's nothing more I can do for this case. I might end up testifying in court, but otherwise I'll just be observing to see how things play out. I don't imagine he'll get that harsh of a sentence given the evidence, or lack thereof. Well, so it goes. Hey, mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. It's only been a year since you got here, but a lot's happened since then. What do you think about your time here? Are you satisfied with the things you did? The choices you made no I have my regrets I see life has a way of going places you never wanted it to yeah well we should get going your friends are probably waiting at the station come on let's go hey thanks you're welcome
Is it the same thing? You really are leaving us. It is, I think. You know, it was overdue quick. It's going to get boring without you around, Senpai. You will visit, won't you? Of course. <laughs> we'll come immediately if anything happens on your end. Be sure to take good care of yourself. Take care. Keep in touch, okay? I'll reserve a room for you at the Amagi Inn the next time you come. Well, I'll see ya. You really helped us out with lots of stuff. Thanks, partner. this is the end for the bad endings i think this is gonna be the end for this episode and the next one we are gonna go over what seems to be called the accomplice ending so hope you guys enjoyed these two bad endings the next one hopefully i can get the reaper to spawn and fight it if i can i will include that before the accomplice ending so look out for that but if you guys have been enjoying these videos, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Genie, I'll